Aloha V-Dub gang. Today is a big day for the GTI because we got big brakes to install. So this entire kit was put together by PowerStop, ordered online from the AutoZone website, and it pretty much comes with everything you need to make the switch over to big brakes. The kit that I have sitting here is the front set only. They do make a set for the rear. Anyways, here we got the performance front rotors slotted and drilled also it is a vented rotor here is the OEM Volkswagen single piston caliper comes with the caliper carrier and new caliper guide pins these calipers are the exact same size as the base model 1.8T and VR6 calipers the only difference is that it is red, which means increased stopping power. Bruh. Also there's the retaining spring and two copper crush washers for your brake hoses. So if you have the base model 1.8T and VR6, you can just upgrade your rotors and pads. For the two point slow and TDI models, you will need to upgrade your entire steering knuckle assembly and buy these calipers. The big brake kit will not fit your car if you don't have the steering knuckle, which I will show you why later. Last is Power Stop's Z23 Evolution Sport Performance Brake Pads. Carbon fiber and ceramic infused pads. Four pads included. One of them is integrated with a pad wear sensor. Comes with a set of retaining springs. Guide pin bushings and some brake component lubricant. So let me get the steering knuckle setup off and I'll show you the different setups. So here we got two different steering knuckles. The one on the left is the setup found on the Mark IV 2 point slow and TDI models. The one on the right is the setup found on all Mark IV 1.8 T's and VR6 models. As you can tell right away, both are very different. There's these two arms sticking out that integrates into the caliper to form a whole unit. So there's actually no way you can even swap the larger caliper or even the rotor. Now this steering knuckle is set up differently so that the caliper is completely separate. So if you plan on upgrading your 2 liter or TDI to larger brakes, you must buy a set of these steering knuckles. Before I put these back on, I'm going to clean them up a bit. Generally you would want a clean flat surface to mount the rotor so it will wear properly. Since I am reinstalling the steering knuckle, I had to get some replacement parts from ECS Tuning. I got the left and right ball joints with hardware. I 
and a bunch of nuts and bolts that's related to the steering knuckle. Shipping doesn't surprise me as always. Bruh. So let's get everything set up. You'll get a set of four brake pads. Two will have a flat backing plate. The other two will have metal mounting tabs on the backing plate. And if possible, you'll have an integrated pad wear sensor. Pretty simple, one pad with a flat backing plate and one pad with the mounting tab will go together as one set for each wheel. If you have a sensor, that set of pads will go to the side that has the pad wear sensor plug. The pad with the mounting tab will be mounted on the inside of the caliper and pressed into the cylinder. The pad with the flat side will go on the opposite side of the rotor on the outside. Lubricate every single contact point and movable parts of the caliper and the back of the brake pads with the grease provided. Do not get any grease on the rotor or pads friction surface. Don't forget your retaining springs. Place the bottom end into the hole of the caliper, then rest the tab on the bottom of the carrier. Pull the top portion over and insert the top end into the caliper hole, then finally pull back the tab until it sits against the top of the carrier.
my god! Wow! So the brake job is finally done, but we are not road ready yet. Still need to do a full brake bleed, which I will show you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think. Smash that like button. Hit that notifications. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Mahalo V-Dub gang for watching. As always, see you on the next one.